Please don't blow up in the kiln. Please don't blow up in the kiln. Hello you dirty potters, how are you today? Today I want to show you something that I feel like we should have gone over quite some time ago when we were going over how to load a kiln. Now we've already gone over how to load a bisque kiln and a glaze kiln as well as gone over how to clean our kiln shelves with good old kiln wash. But what we haven't gone over are the different types of kiln shelves there are. There are much more than just this type of kiln shelf. And may I introduce you to the half kiln shelf. As the name suggests, a half kiln shelf is exactly the size of half of an actual kiln shelf. You get it, it's a half a kiln shelf because you put two, two halves together, makes 100%, makes, makes a whole kiln shelf. These types of shelves are usually used to optimize the space inside of your kiln, especially whenever you're loading larger things than just cups and bowls. And that's what we're gonna go over today. Oh man, I wish I had some kind of large base in my kiln so I could show you guys how to optimize your space, especially when you have something super big in your kiln, you don't wanna make room for all those little stuff. Ah, oh, skadoosh! Mmm, shapoopy! Ah, uh, Bush did 9-11. These are the type of pieces that half shelves are made for. These are not going to fit very comfortably inside my kiln shelf. And even if I did an entire kiln load with only these pieces in it, I would probably get only about two levels and I wouldn't be able to put any cups or bowls in there very comfortably. So these half shelves are going to give me the height necessary and the clearance necessary for me to put something like this inside the kiln. Most cups and bowls that people make are about three inches to four inches max. But this thing right here is over a foot tall and it's not gonna sit very comfortably with the rest of my stuff inside the kiln. And this is where half shelves come in. Come on guys, back in your cages. So today we're gonna load a bisque kiln and I'm gonna show you guys how to use half shelves to fit something like this big boy inside your kiln. Potter tip. I'm just gonna give you guys this tip before we even start loading the kiln. Do not put the big thing that you're trying to fit inside this kiln with half shelves in first. You see, this big vase here is about half the size of my kiln, but it doesn't take up the entire kiln space, which means I have about this much space left to load my kiln normal style. I still have all that space down below where I can load a very normal kiln load, and I only need to use half shelves for about the rest of this kiln load. This way you can load your kiln very normally right before you put this big piece in. If you wanted to do the other way around, however, You would have to make some kind of makeshift Jenga puzzle of doom out of your kiln furniture and then try and put the half shelf on top of your actual piece. Not only is this super inconvenient, now you're going to have all this extra wiggle space and instability down there. It's much easier to just load your kiln normal style and make sure that your big old vase is the last thing you put in the kiln. I'm also not very good at Jenga if you could tell by the way I stack my kiln shelves. A good thing to get into the habit of doing is each and every time you reach a new level, right before you want to make a new level, make sure this big old piece here will actually fit onto the new level. You see, after so many levels, you're going to run out of space, and you're not going to run out of space because you don't have enough space down here, but this kiln only closes to a certain top distance. If this piece right here is higher than this edge right here, then you're not exactly going to close the kiln, and you're not even going to be able to run your kiln at all. So what I like to do is each and every time I reach a new level of loading my kiln, I go ahead and close my kiln or at least check the distance with a ruler. You know, except for I hit measuring stuff, so I'm just going to close the kiln and if it closes all the way, then it fits. Woo! It fits! So when I close my kiln, it does actually fit and it doesn't impede with the top of my kiln itself, but it barely fits. So this means that this is the last level that I can actually do before I put my big piece inside. And if your piece is so tall that it barely lets you load your kiln, that lets you know that this is the last normal level you can actually load. From this point on, you're most likely going to be using half kiln shelves. This is also the level in which you're going to have to load your big piece. Any further up, and you most likely can't even close your kiln. Potter tip. This isn't a necessary thing, but what I like to do is leave this big old piece inside the kiln as I'm loading the rest of my kiln. Because I'm going to be loading the rest of my regular stuff around this and with the understanding that these are half kiln shelves of course i'll be loading half of this kiln and then i'll be making stilts for only that half of that kiln mm -hmm. 
Also, please keep in mind that even though you're only going to be loading half of this kiln shelf and you're really not going to be touching this area anymore, you're still going to be needing three different pieces of kiln furniture. Look, I know this is common sense for most people, but there are some people who still don't understand that even though you're only loading half of the kiln, you still need the full amount of kiln furniture to hold up and stabilize that same piece of kiln shelf. You see, they work just like this. And now I can continue loading the rest of my kiln without having this big old piece get in the way. I'm gonna throw these in there too. Why not? Why not? Just throw them in there. Does it fit? Yeah, yeah, it fits. Nice. Now we just gotta let it get some air circulation so this bisque kiln can be run properly. Now we just have to wait and see if everything came out tomorrow morning. Please don't blow up in the kiln. Please don't blow up in the kiln. Tomorrow. Cool, looks like everything came out just fine. Ooh, that's hot, that's hot. You see, and because of the half shelf, I was able to fit this big monstrosity in there, along with all these other little things. Well, thank you, Dirty Potters, for joining me today. The only reason I made this short video is because there's some people who are just getting their kilns who think that regular kiln shelves are the only things they're ever gonna put inside their kilns. And this makes the job a lot easier to put those big old pieces inside their kiln if they know about half shelves. If you'd like to see any of my actual artwork, the links are always down below for your beautiful Potter eyes to see. And I will see you, Dirty Potters, next week. I don't know why I rounded out the video by showing you guys like, oh look, I opened the kiln and everything was fine. As if the variable of putting a half shelf inside of my kiln versus a full shelf is going to change the bisking process at all. It doesn't. I just wanted a nice way to round out the video. Oh, I put a half shelf in there. What will happen next? Nothing will happen next. I now just have more room inside my kiln.